Good morning, world. So, this is a problem. I woke up at like 7, or was it 6.15? I forget. Because there is a large opening of these blackout curtains. Are these blackout curtains really blackout? I don't know. So I was thinking of putting some tape or something, like with some painter's tape for now. Because that crack is way too big and my eyes are so sensitive. And even up there a little. I just don't know. Do we need to replace the whole thing? Or just get new curtains? I think the rod needs to be a little bit extended. I don't know if I just replace the curtain it's still going to have the same effect. But oh, man, I've been waking up really as earlier than usual, just not getting proper sleep, so I gotta problem solve that. March, starting March off with this recipe that I found from TikTok. So it is chicken lettuce wrap. So I just washed some lettuce, I boiled some rice noodles. I was supposed to fry them, but I'm not. I never really fried food before and I don't have a wok so I just boiled it and then this is um, ground chicken um, carrot celery and onion and then I'm just gonna wrap it all together and just eat it for lunch and of course Jen style I'm eating this for the next three days <laughs> So if you were born 12 years ago, you would be 14 years old? Yeah. You sure about that? Oh, I'll be... Say that again. If you were born 12 years ago, how old would you be? Uh, still unborn. <laughs> cool. Too hungry, but... <laughs> finish an entire well I'm going to finish an entire frozen pizza to myself because I had a headache this morning and wasn't able to cook but I'm watching Grey's Anatomy I guess this is my weekend now eating frozen pizza and watching Grey's 15 degrees and back at Milne it's just so nice can't believe this is in my backyard yeah there's people playing volleyball for dogs. I think it'll be fun to play spike ball here. And I decided to get a BHA product. Lots of people, they recommend um, Polish Choice, but I feel like that's a little too strong for me. And I'm just gonna try this one. This one is made in Korea, I believe. And I think just Korean skincare works better on my skin. So what I'm afraid is that um, because it's like an active product, it will break me out and my engagement photos are in a few weeks but I'm too eager and I just want to try it today and see what the scent is like. It says that it's mild peeling, sebum control, pores of the skincare. That's pretty much me. I have a lot of um, sebaceous filaments. So yeah, it just looks very minimalistic so hopefully this one's gonna work. Goodness, guys, just look at these stands. I do wanna wear these uh, white shoes to the engagement shoot, so I quickly just YouTubed how to clean it. So I have to take out the shoelaces, soak them in warm water, and a little bit of Tide, and just gently scrub it. So hope I can salvage these by Saturday, and today is Thursday evening, so I need to let these babies be clean and dried up before I can wear them. Hopefully it goes Hey, not bad. The shoelaces were a point of no return, so I'm gonna get some at Walmart tonight or tomorrow. But yeah, there's still some scruff marks that are always gonna be there. But I really like these pairs of shoes. So I would say it is a success. I didn't bother cleaning the bottom. But yeah, this hack really worked. Today is our engagement shot day. Mm -hmm. Wasn't as awkward as I expected, but I guess it depends on your photographer. I know. How do you feel? Uh, I feel so natural. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm getting posed in a certain way. Like, I just feel like I'm acting around myself. I scored myself some pretty good deals. So I was at Loblaws um, buying, where is this? This Fit Me foundation stick because it was on sale for $6, even cheaper than Walmart. 
and then I was browsing around the home section. I know I haven't bought anything for a while because I've been reading this book about the year of less, how she didn't buy anything. Um, however, this plate, I think initially was $5, and then it was marked down for clearance, um, I think two fourteen. dollars But when I went to self-checkout, it was one nineteen for this plate, each of them. So right now, I don't have any plates in my house that are suitable for like a single um, toast. I can show you the size right now. So it's like a pretty big size for my smallest plate, I would feel. And of course, I have bigger ones. So I was always on the lookout for just plates that can, you know, fit one piece of toast. And I finally did. And then, yeah, we're dishwasher safe and we're also microwavable. And my sister also wanted some, so I also got her some too. Quick haul, I went to Kitchen Stuff Plus on my day off. So I needed some cereal, con cereal containers and these are on sale for $6.99 for three of them, which is cheaper than Costco. And I went to Dollarama, but the lid it didn't fully close. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to go. Um, a lemon juicer. Um, yeah, when I was squeezing lemons I had to kind of fish out all the seeds and it was just not a pleasant experience so hopefully this will ease the process and it has measurements on the side spatula I did buy one initially from Umono but that one melted because um, it was like a plastic tip and I was I was also being dumb I was I touched it against a hot pan but I think silicone would be more heat resistant um, finally got a oil pour it has two of them so I think I might do olive oil and maybe like a vegetable oil for I guess more I don't know like heavy duty frying stuff got a I think it's called a microplane I think or yeah so it'll be good for zesting and also when I want to make my ginger dessert thingy <laughs> okay don't judge, but I heard that if you do this routine on your face, it really helps plump up your skin, brightens it, um, helps the circulation on your face. <laughs> so yeah, I want to try. I'm not going to say the price, but it's from Winners, so it is on the inexpensive side. Finally saying goodbye to my office. I started to get like elbow pain over here and I think it's because the height of a chair and the um the table is not at an ergonomic position I should know better so I'm gonna finally migrate back to the office upstairs where I have an adjustable chair so I can easily position myself more comfortably okay so I finally read the instructions and how to set up this so I get the basil for the first one. I think they range around $12.95 per three pack pod. Okay, I'm glad there's no worms because I don't I don't do worms. I have a fear of them. Okay, come on. So they look like this. And I just place them. Oh, they look kind of cute. Just place them in So it's going to be bright for 16 hours and then I think in a few weeks once it starts sprouting I can remove the dome. I'm really excited about my next purchase but you know sometimes you have clothes that are just worn once and they're kind of too dirty to be put on the shelves but they're still kind of clean to kind of put in a laundry hamper. I mean yeah put in the laundry hamper to wash so I bought these from Costco. These are two for $19.99 regular price. These are called cotton rope baskets. So I thought this would just be a really cute way to kind of store 
all this in here uh, just to keep it a little bit organized and I can use this chair <laughs> as a chair so hopefully this turns out I think it would also look really nice if it's like on top of those shells I don't really like the um the look of like really plasticky tote things so hopefully this is a good fit back at Milm I'm just this is my first time on this side, but I guess that is the famous dam over there. Yeah, such a nice view. I'm really learning how to just appreciate walks in the evening. I think the sunset is in that direction, but either way, just very peaceful. I wonder if people take engagement shots here. Oh, I guess here's like a little opening where you can look at it closer. I don't want to drop my phone. Yeah. Interesting.